Welcome to my screencast loading Reporting Services reports into Power Pivot. What I've done is created a report using the new re Report Builder 3.0 using a default data set where I used a query. The same query I used to make my Time Intelligent Functions uh, screencast. I've used a parameter and I've published it to my SharePoint environment. Look, we have the report right here. We can press and we can view the report. Okay, the report is loaded and as you can see we have calendar year by months by sales territory and you can see we can select the calendar year. We have one new feature in the Reporting Services 2008 R2 is this button, Export Data Feed. And we, when we push it, it will be opened at a, as an Atom feed. We can press Open. The data will be loaded into the Gemini client. Still calls, it still is called Gemini, but it will probably be called Power Pivot in new release. Okay, he sees I have already one book opened, and I want to use that book to import my data. I press OK. The Power Pivot client will be opened and it already sees data field sales. I'll call it sales amount. I can push next. The data is loaded from my first tablex and we can preview our data. And what you see is we have the data which is in my service available sales amount and you can see the total totals also here and you can see months, year, sales ter territory one thing I we already noticed this is only the data we, we see on the report so when, we, when you want to use multiple years you have to select multiple years in the report so only data that is shown on the report is available in your Gemini client. As you can see, we, we used, as you can see in the report, we used 2007, 2000s, only 2007 is available. When you select another year, 2008, or you select multiple years, that will be available in your Power Pivot. Okay, when we press finish, the data will be, in, will be loaded to your Power Pivot. And as you can see right here, this is probably the parameter. But what you can see is we have calendar year and calendar month number of year. And again, we can just add his date, tablex1, calendar year, tablex1, month number of year. And Okay. And now we have again a column, a date column, which we can use in our time intelligent functions. So what I've shown you today is how you can use data from a report and you can use this data in my time intelligence screencast as well. Thank you for watching.